you get the best of both worlds. Mix it all together and you know that it's the best of both worlds. Here we are. This is our first stop. So we were originally gonna go directly to the Airbnb, but then we decided to do the fall since it's kind of like on the way. Um, so we parked back there somewhere. And now we're going on this little bridge and you can hear the babbling brook underneath us, but this is our start to our visit in the natural state of Arkansas. See the creek down there and so here we're at Little Missouri Falls, which is kind of in the Washita National Forest. And it's a really pretty set of low waterfalls and great place to swim and hang out for the afternoon. So I'll put some pictures in here. We didn't get a ton of good videos because we were too busy enjoying. So you can check those out. And it was pretty busy uh, at the bottom, but if you go a little bit farther up the creek, then it's a lot emptier and you can hang out there. So a really great area to, to be. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, we're on Sunset Trail in Hot Springs National Park, and we're doing, uh, it's about a 10 to 12 mile trail. I think depending on how many spurs you take, um, but excited to do this and get some nature in. Although we heard uh, ambulance sirens earlier, so it's not like <laughs> super nature-y, but it's still fun. Um, but yeah, we'll keep checking in throughout the trail and let you know how we're doing, but uh, Right now we're good, it's just very uphill, hence the song. All right, update time. Uh, this trail is actually quite difficult. <laughs> it's pretty rocky and we had to come like uphill on a mountain and now we're more going downhill. Um, and yeah, but we're about like two and a half, almost three miles through it. But yeah, it's pretty rocky. It's like not like super like well maintained, I guess. Um, but. I don't know. We'll see how it goes overall. Hopefully like the second half will be less rocky, a little bit more flat. Uh, but Ashwini and Steven ended up, headed up, ended up going back to the car because um, Ashwini's like, legs wasn't, wasn't feeling super well. Um, so they're just going to go relax a little bit and then um, we'll catch them up. We'll catch up with them a little after we finish up the trail. Alright, we're taking a little snack break. We got fruits. We got carrots. We got some hummus and there's some ranch. Yum. And we're eating up. Okay, we are at the end of the trail. This is like 10 miles in and uh, pretty rough. But there's this nice little creek area here. All right, how do you feel? I think that's good. Good? 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 We found this at the end, and so this made it really, 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 really worth it. So that's been nice. Woo! Okay, that hike was a lot of effort, but if you like a challenging hike, I would definitely recommend it. It was like 10 hours. We did it pretty fast in about five and a half hours with about like a 20 to 30 minute lunch break in the middle. So it took like six hours total. And at the end, there was a nice like creek that you could kind of like swim in um, and chill out after that hike. And so that was really good. Um, we, oh, we're a little low on water, so I would highly recommend lots and lots of water. Um, but otherwise, it was, like, it was an okay hike overall. I'd give it like a five or six out of 10. Um, 
But yeah, now we're uh, just chilling, so cheers. Okay, so we're doing a kayaking thing now. Um, so we're gonna go about four miles. Uh, we stopped at, what was it called? Safe Haven? Watita Haven? Uh, River Haven River Haven Resort. Uh, and then they like dropped, they were super nice, super cute. They had a cute dog named uh, Jasper. So adorable dog. And so we stopped there. They gave us the kayaks and they drove us out to like a launch point. And then now we're going uh, down river to back to kind of where they have, where the like the lodge location is basically. And then that's basically gonna be, it's about four miles and we're gonna stop somewhere in the middle for lunch. We already stopped to swim for a little bit. Uh, it was so much fun. This is like amazing kayaking and the scenery, oh, just beautiful, just beautiful. Okay, Rathi and Shobi are back there. They're struggling just a tad, but they're making it, they're making it. Steven and Shreen on this one, Padmini and me on this one. We're gonna go down the river for about four miles. Smooth sailing overall, but there are a few rocks here and there, so they're a little bit stuck. We got stuck for a little bit, but we got out of it. Um, but it's pretty shallow. Here, take a look. This is JD. JD, JD, come here. <laughs> They're the ones who help out at the office. Hey, so I have to be quiet. But Sora was taking a nap. So I wanted to sneak his GoPro. See, see what's up. We're doing the walk of fame, everyone. We Woo! are the famous. Ooh, you can get some hot water right here in Hot Springs. They just have a little filling station on the side of the road. It's actually kind of, it's actually kind of hot. Okay, now we're going down Bathhouse Row, um, which is kind of where all the bathhouses are that have the hot spring water. Um, okay, this is really interesting. So it seems like all of these are also part of the national park because they all have like the cultural signs by them, which I think is really interesting. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video of our trip to Hot Springs, Arkansas, uh, the natural state. It was a really great trip to reconnect with nature. Um, we stayed for there about four days and we stayed in Hot Springs, Arkansas, visited Hot Springs National Park and the Washita Forest. Uh, so you can check out the full itinerary in the, uh, in the video description. Uh, it was a fully socially distanced vacation, so we brought all our food and we're able to stay safe, but also have a really great time. So if that's something you're interested in, I uh, definitely would recommend that area to go visit and get in some nature and such. So thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to hit the like button and hit subscribe if you wanna keep up with any future travels. So catch y'all next time.